that's okay. That's okay. And what about alcohol? When was your last drink of alcohol? When I was 19, um, because alcohol and me do not work well together. <laughs> okay. And what about any marijuana? When was your last use of any marijuana? Oh, no. I tried that once and got really paranoid. Okay. What about any last use of cocaine? Never. Last use of any stimulants or methamphetamines? Never. What about any huffing or inhalants? Never. Okay. Have you used anything like clonopin or Xanax, any of those sedative medications? Never. All right, good. What about any hallucinogenics like LSD or PCP or mushrooms? No, never. Wonderful. Okay. What about any use of pain pills or opiate medications? Anything prescribed or anything you've obtained from the street? No, never. Good. And anything synthetic like spice or ecstasy, bath salts, mollies, anything like that? Never. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You know, those things aren't good for your brain. So um, I encourage you to continue to stay away from those things. Have you ever had any blackouts or seizures from drugs or alcohol or seen things that you weren't sure were there? Never. Good. What about any legal issues or any DUIs? Never. Okay, good, good. All right, so I'm just going to ask a little bit about your family right now. Any blood relatives have any mental health or substance use issues? Well, well why would you ask that? It's, it's, it's not your business. <laughs> right, I could see where you might find um, that wouldn't be any of my business. But really, sometimes these issues can be genetic or to learn behaviors. So my understanding of your family helps me to understand you. Well, my, my mother was seen as crazy. I think they said she had bipolar or something, and my father went to prison for drugs, and, well, we haven't heard or seen or heard from him in eight or ten years. Um, my brother, well, I think he's a little schizo, but he hasn't ever went to the doctor. Um, you know. No, nobody else with, with anything. Okay. So that sounds like it must be tough growing up not seeing your father and having some of those issues in your family. But any family blood relatives commit suicide? Well, my mom tried. But nobody really did it, you know. Okay. Have you ever done anything like that or anything like cut on yourself, burn yourself? I already told you I tried to kill myself. Why ask me that again? No, I'm not going to kill myself or anyone else, and I don't cut myself. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that, and I want you to know that I am here for you, and we most certainly will make sure you have a crisis line number at the end of this session if you do have those thoughts in the future. So I'm glad to hear that you don't have those thoughts today. Okay, what what type of medical issues do you have? Yeah. Ooh, let's see, I have thyroid issue that I take some medicine for, uh, the hypothyroidism, and I take a birth control pill for polycystic ovaries. Okay, when was your last menses? Oh, I uh, have a regular one each month, uh, so let's see, it was last month sometime. Okay, so any chance that you're pregnant? <laughs> Lordy, no. <laughs> I may have a lot of sex around, but I'm safe. Well, you have a lot of sex around? Can you maybe tell me what that means? Well, you know, it's exciting and thrilling to find new people to explore sex with. It helps me keep my moods high, high, high. <laughs> okay, so that makes you feel really high and kind of good. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, who raised you? My mom and my older brother, mainly. And 
who do you live with now? I live with my boyfriend. 